Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for October 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Right off the bat, I want to go ahead and give a big old shout out to my Libras out there. We are officially in Libra season here in Western astrology. So ha very, very happy birthday to the Libras out there. I also want to go in and slip in a little uh, early little happy birthday to the uh, October Scorpios. Yes, happy birthday to you guys. We will be entering your season next. So please keep in mind that these are general readings. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also keep in mind that because these are general readings, the situations can go either or, okay? It can go either way. Now, I am specifically speaking to the zodiac sign in question, so mostly the message is going to be for them. But if you are cross-watcher, say, for example, or you are what you are you do have the sign that the, that is in question in the reading that you're watching and yet the story that i'm telling is flipped is vice versa then go ahead and flip it for yourself okay place it as it fits into your life but please be very careful not to place things or try and force things that don't fit into your story or your situation into the into positions because that's just going to confuse you and throw you off okay so another thing that i want to mention um uh, oh, first, actually, what I want to mention is I'm doing a little bit something a little bit differently this month. Um, I had been using the Sacred Rebels Oracle for a few months, which was doing great. But because we're now in fall and it's October, I wanted to change it up a little bit. Um, and I got the brilliant inspiration to use the Fairy Forest Oracle deck this month. And I'm really super excited for you guys to see what comes out. Because in some of these readings, they're all pre-recorded um, before I record this this intro but uh for some of these readings the oracle guidance that comes out from this deck is so spot on it's a little scary <laughs> okay um also the other thing that i want to mention especially for those of you that are new if you are new to the channel what's up thank you so much for tuning in welcome to the family but here at divine conversations we do not focus on love yes sometimes love will come out uh if necessary and I, and in no way am I trying to stop that from happening. But the general focus or the main focus here on Divine Conversations is to focus on bringing yourself into a sense of union with yourself, bringing to yourself into a sense of wholeness with yourself, and also just having a conversation with spirit, all right? So what's coming through in these messages for the monthlies, even for the dailies, if you check out Morning Coffee, the messages that come through are just a conversation. What does spirit have for you at that time what does spirit want you to know for that time period or that cycle in your life that you're going through all right with that said keep in mind that all of these readings are timeless yes so just because this is dated for the month of october it doesn't mean it has to resonate for you in october you could come across this reading in february of 2020 and beyond and it may still resonate for you okay time is an illusion and energies are fluid all right so just take it as it resonates if it resonates for you at that time then take it if it doesn't don't worry about it come back later maybe it will all right, guys. <sighs> so with that said, I think let's just get straight to it. Yeah. <laughs> hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for October 2019. So let's just get straight into it. Um, I was channeling your energy and I, before I even started the reading um, and I was seeing blue and I was seeing purple. And but that purple color was really prominent okay and what i'm feeling like here for the month of october or at least the ever whatever time period you're in in which this reading would resonate for you deep wisdom and understanding are at play here whether it is you are integrating a new level of it whether you are opening your opening up to like a higher uh, uh source of wisdom this could be tapping into your own wisdom that you possess within that you may not have been in touch with before you may not have had access to before um and it's from this place that you are rebuilding okay you have the three of pentacles here that was the first card that came out and the three of pentacles is about teamwork is about craftsmanship it's also about um oh goodness um self-mastery 
there you go. And what I'm getting here is there is a deeper sense of wisdom and understanding that, that you have come into, okay, represented by the Four of Wands, or at least you have enough of a spiritual foundation right now to gain access to this wisdom, which is now influencing you in restructuring your life, rebuilding your life, um, taking more your taking more of your power back with the emperor okay allowing yourself to be receptive to manifest um this with the queen of wands this could be a lot of fire also you could have fire in your chart you could have uh aries or leo in your chart or you could be connecting with someone who is an aries or a leo um but we're talking about you here scorpio and what i really feel like here is you there's a sense of self mastery that is coming into play here for you, uh, a sense of deep spiritual wisdom that's coming into play here for you that is allowing you to take your power back, to take control of your life and putting you in a place to be receptive towards what it is the universe has for you or whatever it is you're trying to create or manifest, okay? Like I'm seeing, I'm seeing the queen of wands, ironically enough, I'm seeing the queen of wands as your external reality, I'm sorry, not your external, your internal reality. Okay, the internal state of being in this this power, this calm, this this courageousness. I'm hearing this this self confidence, this magnetism, this magicalness, being receptive. This is like your internal foundation. Stability is are things that I'm hearing. Your external is the emperor, and I find that interesting because the emperor is major arcana and that represents the spiritual overarching cycles that we go through right the queen of wands is the minor arcana which would represent the three-dimensional everyday mundane things that we go through cycles that we go through so normally you would say that the queen of wands is the external whereas the emperor would be the internal but for you i'm seeing it the other way around okay i'm seeing you embody this vibrancy this 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 beauty this magnetism this magical nature within you which is exactly where it needs to be and on the external you're taking your power back you're taking action okay you are in control of your life like this is the the mask that you would be showing to others or that people would be able to perceive of you if they're aligned correctly if they're awakened if they're woke enough blah 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 what not whatever however you want to say it but okay that's what i'm seeing here you have a really strong spiritual foundation that is really opening doors for you and helping you to expand in new and, and greater ways which is excellent scorpio excellent i love it so let's reset here and then we're gonna see what else we have for you for the month of October, yes? Uh, yeah. Happy birthday to you guys, those of you that are October Scorpios, yes? All right, one more shuffle. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Scorpios at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of October 2019. Thank you so much, spirit. Yeah. Yeah, that purple wisdom energy is really strong. And now it's even giving way to pink and white. Pink being unconditional love, white being pure divine essence. That is gorgeous, Scorpio. All right, I'm gonna give this five shuffles for all of my Scorpios, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of October, 2019. This is three. Four. And a five. For my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of October 2019. Best messages, please, Spirit. 
here we go. Boop. All right. Overall energy. You got, okay, the Four of Swords. I like this. You do, yes, it does kind of feel like you're in a little bit of a restful period, okay? Now, this would absolutely be a time of integration for sure four of swords the four of swords is an energy of you know having been in battle and everybody now you know wa uh, waves of you know takes a time out goes to their separate corners recuperates uh regroups figures out how they're going to go about the battle before they enter back into it could also be a time in which you're taking a step back you're meditating you're resting you're listening you're clearing you're healing you're integrating the wisdom that's coming through for you right now that's beautiful underneath the four of swords you do have the devil Oh, I did not see that coming. Underneath the devil, you got the moon. Interesting. And underneath that, you got the five of pentacles. All right. Here's the thing, Scorpio. I don't feel like this is too bad because of the fact that you had that, you, you've got that purple flow. You've got that, that, that divine wisdom, the understanding, okay? You have unconditional love driving you here. You, some of you may have actually found a wellspring of unconditional love that you are now drinking from. And that's changing your perspective on lots of stuff, okay? First and foremost, you're coming out of a stage of lack mentality, five of pentacles, okay? But you're facing your fears, you're facing your demons, you're facing your challenges, and you're starting to see the illusion behind all of it. The moon with the devil, all right? For some of you, this lack mentality situation is super strong. It's something that has been plaguing you for eons, I want to say. Lifetimes even. It's something now, now, yes, we do talk about past lifetimes every once in a while, but they're not really past lifetimes, okay? The existence is non-linear, all right? Energy does not flow in linear flash fashion. So these past lifetimes that we're referring to are actually parallel lifetimes. Everything is happening all here and now. Everything is happening all at once, okay? So this energy, this lack mentality that may have really got a hold of you in one lifetime for whomever this is, it's like it's spreading like a virus throughout your, 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 throughout your being and affecting other lives that you are, that your soul is living. And therefore, now is a time of releasing that because you're, under, you're gaining the wisdom to understand that it's really all just an illusion. And you don't have to feed into it. You don't, the devil doesn't have to have control over you unless you give it to him or her, whatever, right? For some of you, there is a relationship in which this is being illuminated with. Could be with a Capricorn, could be with a, 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 a Cancer or a Piscean. The moon represents Pisces in the traditional tarot. However, the moon rules cancer in astrology, okay? But it could be with anybody. For some of you, it's a relationship. I don't know why I felt like I, I needed to point that out, but for some of you, it is. Okie dokie. Okay, <laughs> getting into the, rela into the relationship, getting into the rest of the reading, and we probably are gonna get into specifics about this relationship that just came out, but whatever. <laughs> First half, second half of your reading. You could look at it as first half, second half of the month, or you could just look at, as, look at it as first half, second half of the reading, whatever works best for you. First set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio. We've got mm, the Seven of Wands. Learning about boundaries, redefining your boundaries, keeping your boundaries in check. Defensiveness, okay. For some of you, there was a strong sense of defensiveness related to this lack mentality. Like for some of you, you you were super, super defensive and many people around you couldn't understand why you were so on edge all the time. Well, you were, that, that those, those defenses, that defense mechanism was born of this plague of the lack mentality energy that you are releasing in the process of releasing, okay? And now that doesn't mean that, that your boundaries or your defenses are all going by the wayside. No, it does mean that they're being redefined, which is ideal, which is excellent, okay? We don't want anybody running around here defenseless, <laughs> right? Seven of Wands is coupled with 
The page of wands, I told you, re-identifying your boundaries. The page of wands to me is like a, is a messenger. Yes, it can be a messenger. It can also be uh, indicative of um, a, a new creative beginning, a new creative start, which to me also translates as self-discovery understanding yourself better. You see how this gentleman, this grown ass man, even though it's a page, this grown ass man is re uh, uh, assessing this wand, learning more about this wand, learning about the wand at all. Maybe it's a brand new wand, or maybe it's the same old wand that's now taken on some new properties that you gotta learn how to use, right? Self-discovery. For me, this is a minor arcana version. This, the page of wands is a minor arcana version of the hermit. Okay, and so in terms of the defenses that we're talking about here, in terms of the defenses that we're talking about here, the boundaries here, you're redefining them. Many of you are, okay? And in that redefining, actually, they could be getting stronger, strengthening them, fortifying them, but fortifying them in better and more beneficial ways, okay? Second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Scorpio, the Six of Pentacles. Very good. I do like this. It's like reciprocity is the key here. And that's actually, that is what spiritual or divine wisdom, higher wisdom will often bring in uh, uh, an awareness and a deeper understanding of reciprocity. The balance between give and take. So in this case, some of you could be identifying how you may have been a bit of an energetic vampire or just make a, a vampire in general and just taking, 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 taking and not really giving anything back. But also keep in mind that inability or that unwillingness to give back could absolutely stem from this lack mentality. Yes? Or some of you could be identifying individuals or circumstances in your life that are just bleeding you dry. Ultimately, what's happening here is you're finding ways to be more reciprocal, be more balanced, be more healthy. Physically, mentally, emotionally, whatever. Beautiful. Six of Pentacles is coupled with the Hierophant. Teaching and learning. Okay? And now for some of you, the structure of society helped you to learn this lesson. For some of you, maybe you were impoverished, you were less than fortunate, you had circumstances that worked against you, maybe, uh, you know, it, it could be anything from race to mental capacity to, to skill to gender, I mean, anything, right? But ultimately, it served to teach you through the tough lesson, it served to teach you about the balance between give and take about reciprocity. And this is more about setting yourself up, especially with the Three of Pentacles energy that came out in the beginning. This is setting yourself up to be better, to, 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 to be in a space of balance, greater balance, for lack of a better term. I hope that made sense. Okay, it's more, it's more than just, it's more about you taking your power back, taking control of your life and your circumstances rather than you uh, shifting things, uh, no, 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 rather than you allowing the external to have control over that. Does that make sense? You're taking your power back here with the emperor energy that came out in the beginning. So this Hierophant energy, whatever it is that seems to be in control, is no longer going to be in control of you because you are taking your back power back. You are redefining your boundaries. You are redefining your abilities, what you're capable of, what you're worthy of. You're not allowing whomever the Hierophant is, whether this is a person or an established entity or whatnot, to tell you what your value is which thus changes what you receive. Because if you believe that you deserve to receive more, then the universe will deliver that to you. I like it, Scorpio. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here. Oh, the Two of Cups, okay. All right, but you see, this is that relationship I was picking up on for somebody. Now also, the other thing that I'm hearing here is there is a relationship on the horizon for some of you. And it could be this, the emergence of this relationship, whether you're aware of it or not. And now if you're not aware of it, then it's just that the energy is hitting you and, it's, and you're not aware, consciously aware of it, but it is influencing some sort of change within you. 
This is influencing, catalyzing this change for you. Now, it also could be an established relationship that seems to be going south, is becoming extremely controlling or has been controlling or has been super codependent. And where you may have been stuck in that once, you're now gaining the wisdom to break free of those chains, to break free of that confinement. It actually, it literally could be a marriage with the Hierophant here, okay? Ooh, and the devil. Ooh, wow. I have never actually looked at it that way, but traditional or conventional marriage could be seen as energy of the devil. Why? Codependency and attachment. And the way relationships, but also marriages, have been pursued, set up and pursued, have been heavily, uh, heavily reliant on codependent energies. Instead of two individuals who are, sa who are solid in whom they are, have their own lives, have their own things to do, blah, blah, whatnot, whatever, really aren't focused on anybody else but themselves, instead of those two strong, whole individuals come together, you have broken individuals that are relying on other people to fill their holes within them when it's not the other person's responsibility to do that at all in the first place. So that's why I'm saying traditional marriage or conventional marriage or conventional relationships as they have been up until this point in history where now things is, this is all changing, that could be seen as the devil, energies of the devil, okay? Codependency, all right? The two of cups in your, in your challenge here is coupled with, ooh, the queen of pentacles. More Capricorn energy, could be another earth sign. You do have Taurus here with, with the, um, with the Hierophant, but you also could have Virgo. And I heard Virgo strongly. So some of you might be dealing with a Virgo or you might have Virgo in your chart, but. Mm. Loving, nurturing, caring. Either you could be this Queen of Pentacles energy or you could be someone that would want to connect with a Queen of Pentacles energy. But there is some sort of what I'm feeling here. What I heard was not allowing yourself to be bled dry. Whether you are the one that's being bled dry or you are the one that is bleeding someone else dry. Having a balanced and reciprocal relationship. Maybe, maybe, maybe there is an individual in your life or maybe you are this individual that has been way over giving. And it, I'm hearing it's time to let that go. It's time to leave that by the wayside and gain your independence back is what I just heard. Okay. Ooh, butterfly. Oh my God, there was just a monarch butterfly out my, outside of my window. I will take that as a sign for you, Scorpio. Yes, transform. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Scorpy Scorp. You've got the magician. Hell yes, Scorpio. I just heard change the way you look at things, change the way you see things, change which will then lead to change in your manifestation, manifesting potential. Now, the Queen of Pentacles also represents abundance. And the two of cups could represent the balance between masculine and feminine within you. It could be your own inner soulmate bond with yourself, right? So the challenge could be to achieve that balance, okay, within to gain access to this abundant energy or the abundant status of the queen of pentacles. And then that is where you, that is what will help you manifest differently. The magician is coupled with there you are, Scorpio. Death, transform. And we just saw that butterfly out my window. Transformation. Sometimes I scare myself. <laughs> Cause that was freaky. Like I was, I just saw that butterfly and I was like, watch death come out. In my head, I was like, watch death come out now. And here it is. Beautiful. But this is also you, Scorpio. This is your energy, death, all right? But you're transforming out of a lack mentality 
into a masterful manifester status. Good on ya. I love it. Getting into the second half of your reading here, first set of surrounding energies. You got the Six of Cups, okay. All right, look, Scorpio, I just heard it again. A relationship is on the horizon here. You are manifesting this, whether you're aware of it or not. And it's best for you to not focus on that. Instead, it's best for you to continue doing the things that you are doing to better yourself, to improve yourself, to change, to transform, because that is the energy that's, that is gravitating this soulmate bond to you. Six of Cups. Could have something to do with the past and nostalgia here, but we'll see. Six of Cups is coupled with the Nine, the nine of Cups. Satisfaction guaranteed. Oh my God, I have such a dirty mind. <laughs> I just thought, oh, we got a little 69 action here. Eric, grow up. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Um, excuse me, I'm going to cough. <coughs> excuse me. I'm really not getting any other message from this other than success is guaranteed. You have a successful relationship on the horizon. It's what I'm hearing. A bond, a partnership. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Scorpio. You have the Knight of Swords. Ooh, be careful. Shoot first, ask questions later type energy. Rushing forward, strong communication. Uh, this does feel like communication. Somebody has something that they want to say. And... It could, it could come across really forceful, even though it's not meant to be forceful or mean or angry or anything like that. It's just, it might be pent up. And whatever, maybe whatever wisdom that it is that's flowing in for you here is influencing you to, to like really want to like step up and say something, like open your mouth somehow. Just be careful, you know. Also keep in mind that actions speak louder than words. So if somebody's coming, stepping to you and talking some mess, like don't even bother trying to fight with them about it because they're probably just talking out of their ass just being honest here knight of swords is coupled with oh the star wish fulfillment healing both cards of wish fulfillment scorpio if you are being guided to start communicating about something, with someone, whatnot, what, whatever that might be. If you are being guided to communicate, do it. I just heard the success is guaranteed. And maybe it may not look the way you think it would, you want it to look in the beginning, but Spirit says, don't worry about that. Trust us, have faith. If there's something you need to say, you need to just say it. Again, it may not turn out the way you think it should or the way you see it turning out in your head, and yet it's still going to influence some sort of healing, catalyze some sort of healing here for some of you. For others, you just need to open your mouth. You just need to, you need to come, you need to not clam up anymore. You need to like op come out of your shell and start communicating. Okay? I just heard desperately. Someone desperately wants or needs to communicate, but they, it's like they, they don't allow themselves. They're trapped by the devil here. They're trapped in illusion. Don't let the devil get you down. And it might be fear. It might be the devil saying, oh, you don't have, you're not, you're, no, you're not good enough for that. There's that lack mentality again. You're not good enough for that. You don't have the right words to say that. You're not eloquent enough. They're just going to laugh at you. They're just going to reject you. Don't even bother. It's not even worth your time or your effort. False. The devil with the moon. False. Couldn't be any more false. Couldn't be any more illusionary. All right? Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Scorpio, 
The high priestess, follow your intuition. Spirit's not going to give you all the answers as to why you need to move in a certain direction, but they damn sure know why you're going to, why you need to move in that direction. And that's why they're giving you the guidance. We don't want you to know all the answers. You won't learn the lessons that way. You won't experience the contrast that way. You won't experience the expansion that way. Just follow our guidance. We know what you want. We know what you desire. We know what you're, you're worthy of. So start listening to us. The high priestess is coupled with the nine of wands. Okay, well, yeah, we know you're battered and bruised. We know you've been through this, but just keep going. You can do this. You have the potential. And you see, the high priestess definitely represents, oh, damn. Hold on. Before I go there, the high priestess definitely represents this purple divine wisdom energy that I'm seeing. That's basically that you're being that you're downloading right now or have been downloading or maybe are going to be downloading but looky here y'all we've got some counterparts we've got the hierophant and the high priestess so maybe we're talking divine masculine divine feminine whereas maybe the masculine here is learning to to reciprocate more to be more reciprocal to be more giving to be more loving to be more caring to be maybe to be less rigid Okay, and the feminine here is calling out to the masculine. Or you're the feminine here and you've been through, you've been through the ringer. But you need to just persevere. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome in the f second half of your reading here, Scorpio. Mm, oh. All right, the four of cups. This is literally flying in the face of everything I just said. <laughs> because the Four of Cups represents rejection, unrequited love, boredom, miss, missed opportunities. Mm, wait a second, Scorpio, now. Hold on. Are you facing missing an opportunity here because you're not listening to your intuition? You're not taking the steps that you're guided to? Everything was great up until here. What are you missing out on, Scorpio? Four of Cups is coupled with the Queen of Cups. Listen to your intuition, Scorpio. The High Priestess and the Queen of Cups are the most psychic of individuals in the deck. Obviously, the High Priestess is a step above because she's major arcana, whereas the Queen of Cups is minor arcana. But, like, that's really not even important important i just heard spirit say that's hearsay oh all right <laughs> okay great you might be missing out on the opportunity of a love of a lifetime someone that really cares about you someone that's really compassionate and loving and understanding and unconditionally loving you may be missing out on what your heart is calling for what your emotions, what your feelings are calling for. Don't let that slip away. I mean, sure, you know, you're not gonna be denied it forever unless you stay in this lack mentality energy. And if it's in front of you right now, why not take it? Why not take that leap of faith? What I'm getting with the Four of Cups and the Queen of Cups is, I'm not good enough for her. I'm not good enough for him. Who says? The devil? The Hierophant? <laughs> Please. Please. Like hell you're not, is what I have to say. Oh, <laughs> All right, Scorpio, let's close out your reading now with your oracle guidance here from the fairies. From a Scorpio's sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of October. October 2019. Here we go. 
Best message, please, Spirit, to close out the reading for September, not for September, for Scorpio for October. Ooh, Ragnarok, card number 11. Destruction, ending, final moment. Oof, this is definitely a Phoenix from the Ashes Risen card. Let me tell you something. I tell you what. <laughs> there must be an ending and it must come soon. You have stood between the forces of destruction for some time, believing that to hold on and to maintain what is seeking to end has been the strong and right thing to do. But when this card comes, it is Ragnarok, the end of the world. And while this card can speak of earth changes and cataclysms that begin with the sea and the land and the sky, it is more truly about the end of one time in your life. Because a cycle is nearing Sorry, because a cycle is nearing not only completion, it must end in order for the new beginning which awaits you to be given the space it needs to enter and flourish. Everything has its time. Every tree must fall. Please know that you are neither weak nor are you a failure for letting this ending happen. Holding on is taking up all your energy and draining you when the finality you are hoping Yes, you are hoping to avoid will actually bring you renewal, truth, a raw, primal moment when you can become your own true self again. Cease exhausting yourself by holding on to what is already over. You cannot stop what seems to be destruction, but you can only ready yourself to face what must be faced to go through the hard time that will soon come, but which will bring you so much richness and so many opportunities. Let go, friend, and cease your quiet suffering. Howl, lift the sky with your cries of pain, but then sleep and know you will return with a spirit daring, strong, and reborn. And that's exactly what this Four of Swords, the very first card in your overall energy is saying. Sleep, rest, regeneration, recuperation, integration of a new perspective integration of this higher divine wisdom that's just like pouring into you right now yes scorpio so there you have it thank you so much for tuning in i hope this was helpful for you i hope you guys have a great month and i look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of november yeah take care Mwah! bye